Hi, this is Joe Adra from Frankfurt on Foot and today we are at Hessen Park Open Air Museum. So this is a whole collection of houses that they've brought from all over Hessen, South Hessen, Middle Hessen, North Hessen. And it's a little bit like Williamsburg as in they have people reenacting stuff as far as like farming, making candles, soap, etc. They've got a hotel here. You have a lot of people that get married here and they've just opened up. So there's no people. I thought I'd take a chance to film just right here. They have a lot of events here. Usually they would have a Christmas market. Uh, they do farming. They've got a lot of the animals. So we'll film a few of the things as we go through the park. The old clock in here. This pretty greenhouse uh, is colonial wares where people would go shopping. So they're trying to kind of show what life was like here. In the probably early 1800s, all the way up to maybe early 1900s in small villages. And the things that you could buy. There's a local store. Come and get your notions. If you lived in a small village. But they also have things like they show. This is what the wallpaper would look like or the floors possibly. Get your glasses to can your vegetables. I love when they show old stores like this. I think they're so cute. So they're selling soaps and towels over there and then the local pump to come and get your water for the day. We've got some different roofs on these houses over here. And here you can see how they've done some decoration in the inner part. And here they're showing, so you can see what this looked like, how they made these buildings. So they put up the wooden frames. We've got our Roman numerals here on all of them. And then they put this waddling in here and a packet full of mud and straw, probably dung, and then put this plaster on the outside. You can decorate your plaster. You can paint it different colors. You can decorate your house however you like it. But the, this one's got the thatched roof on it. It's a little bit different. And this building over here, it looks like the whole thing is thatched. So that's a specialty. If you know how to make thatched roofs, <laughs> you can earn some money. If you know how to be a carpenter and do these wood frames, that's a whole specialty. Um, these buildings are being done all over Germany. It's a good craft to learn. Got a little goat here. A friendly little fella and some sheep. And here we have one of the other churches that are here at the Hessen Park. So these are all, again, these are all buildings that they've moved from someplace else. It was first built in 1480, and they moved this here in 1982-83. Pretty simple little church.
And again, they've tried to make the wooden beams look like marble. And you can't go upstairs. I'm sure there must be some sort of an organ or something up there possibly. Got another church here. This is from the late 1600s. But look at the beautiful carvings around the door. What's it say? It says 16, 1613. And then you've got a copy of the altar hanging here that used to be in here at one point in time. All the painting around the gallery. And a stove. Look, another church. We'll go inside in a second, but over here we can see this is how these buildings are stored until they have enough money and enough time to reconstruct them. So all over Hessen Park are these piles of wood beams and sometimes stones. Over here we've got a windmill. We've got more barns back here. So sometimes there'll be wagons and things back there and they've got a lathe. You can go practice making things on a lathe which I got to do a couple of years ago. I'd never used a lathe, and they were kind enough to let me try my hand. I think I made a dreidel. Just go inside this little church. You can see at one time they had this all decorated with some carvings. It says 1801. So this isn't one of the older churches, but it's also very simple. It was probably a center for, you know, the whole village to live in. The windmill is great. So this is the house Aus Eisen wrote. It's about 200 years old. And the lady that lived here gave it to the Hessen Park. And you can see what life was like in these old farmhouses. The bed and the couch and the sewing machine. And the kitchen. How they've got the stencils on the walls. This looks like the storage place, like a pantry upstairs. Another bedroom, but they're storing the dishes here in the shrunk. And 
another bedroom. And obviously you could go on upstairs for more rooms, but we're gonna go back down. But do look at the old light switches. This kind of looks like an old fashioned uh, outhouse. And this looks like the blacksmith. We found the sheeps. They're here in this barn. They're having breakfast. So again, these are gonna be traditional German sheep, the black faces. And they're here in this barn. the pretty flowers on it and the thatched roof. This is a little mini chapel. It's almost like a little tiny house. This is one of the synagogues that's here. It's from uh, about 1791 from Niederhausen, Nentershausen. And with the ceiling. There are a lot of really small Jewish communities in the farmland near Frankfurt and Hesse. So they also have a mikveh here. We'll go upstairs in a minute. We've got this room over here. It has the story and tells all about um, this building and how they found it and what they did with it. That's going into the synagogue part. How they replaced the wallpaper or the um, ceiling. They found the old and they made some new um, tops. Oh, what am I talking about? Ceiling. Let's go up here and see what they have up here. This is going to be for the women to sit. Another windmill over here. And let's go inside. So that would have gone down to the mikvah. That would have placed here to get washed first and towels. It's just a great place to come and spend the day here at Hessen Park. And we're now at the second synagogue here. And 
And they usually have exhibits in here too. So this is 1866, a little bit later in time. So when you come in here, you can spend time listening to all of the recordings. You can look at all the different folders. They've got all of this here. I mean, you can spend a couple hours here. And that shows all the synagogues. Let's go upstairs. Colors in here are so soft and beautiful. I'm sure at one time this was for the women to sit. And this is showing different synagogues in Hessen. So this is a synagogue in Michelstadt. If you watch my Michelstadt, Christmas market thing. I mentioned this and we'll go and visit the synagogue again. I'm going to do a longer tour of Michelstadt. Dieburg. Großumstadt. do with all the synagogues. Let's go back downstairs. I was here one time and they had all the a big exhibit about rural life for the Jews, you know, all the different towns that they lived in and the farms and what were they doing. So again, they've got all this stuff here that you can look at, this is in English. And then it tells you the different stories about um, people and what happened with them in their lives. And this is a, the history of the Jews here from uh, the 9th to the 1600s. So this is kind of like, this is what they would have been wearing in Worms or in Frankfurt. And when they broke down the ghetto in Frankfurt in the 1800s, this is when a lot of Jews moved out to the farming villages. Thank you for joining me today. I think we're going to call an end to the tour. And I hope that you've enjoyed visiting Hessen Park and come here again sometime in person. It's a beautiful place, easy to spend several hours here. Bring the kids, bring your lunch, or buy something to eat here. We'll see you on the next tour. Bye.